Next event on the track, the 200 meters, which will be run in its unorthodox way, but the way in which I remember it being run every time at UCLA. You see the records there. Deja Stevens with the number one time amongst the legions and number four time in the world this year. He's the semifinals, and Kyra Jefferson in the blue of Florida ran a great semi. She certainly did, Dwight. She clocked 22.6, which was the one of the best marks in the preliminary competition. She looked so strong, especially running off the turn right there. The senior for the Gators looking to put an exclamation point on her collegiate career in the 200 meters, knowing that she's going to have to go up against some hot competition from the University of Oregon in the final. And here is the University of Oregon. We mentioned earlier that they did not qualify very well. They had some rough preliminary heats, but it would be enough to push them through as you're looking. This is semifinal heat number two. Brittany Brown from Iowa looking really strong in this heat right there, but you can see Oregon coming up very strong later in the race. That's Deja Stevens out in front. Then Ariel on a Washington closing strong as well. So they'll look to continue that momentum moving forward in the 200 meters. You're looking right now at Deja Stevens, the collegiate leader at 200 meters. Her season best 22.09, one of the best marks in the world so far this outdoor season. And we've already seen her get second in the 100 meters. And then outside in lane eight, her teammate who qualified through on time and finished fourth in the 100 meters earlier today. This is sophomore Ariana Washington. She swept both sprints last year here. The defending champion in this event, six-time All-American Ariana Washington. Again, this is a huge event for the Oregon Ducks, scoring-wise, the potential that they have in those two athletes. And potential spoiler senior Kyra Jefferson, her father Thomas Jefferson, besides being the father of our country, won a bronze medal at the Olympic Games in 1984 in Los Angeles. And she's been on somewhat of a revenge tour. She had a hamstring injury last outdoor season, so she's really responded very well this season. Here's how they will line up. Oregon in four with Deja Stevens, the Olympian, and Ariana Washington, the defending champion, out in lane eight. USC needs a good finish from Deanna Hill to try and move up the leaderboard. So Stevens in four, Jefferson in five, and Ariana Washington outside in lane eight. of the gun with Deja Stevens. Ariana Washington's goal is to not see anybody else in the race, but already Aaliyah Brown from a and is making that not possible. Deja Stevens ran a heck of a curve, but Kyra Jefferson is making a move on Stevens. It's Jefferson trying to close the gap. The senior versus the junior, and Deja Stevens goes down. Deja Stevens just 10 meters, not even from the finish, and Jefferson wins it. 22.02 for Kyra Jefferson, who was running a phenomenal race anyway. Deja Stevens gets up and appears to be walking away. <coughs> Ariana Washington ends up second at 22.39, but that was so odd looking. We need to see the replay on that. Kyra Jefferson overcome with emotion. She just ran the race of her life. And we have seen the track be slick in some other events, especially in the men's events yesterday, but it doesn't appear that the track is that slick at this point. But let's look and see exactly what happened for Deja Stevens. She was moving so well and with so much power, it almost just looked like she tripped. This might tell us a little bit more Jefferson came up on her right. Look at Deja Stevens starting to lose form, running across her body. She's just hoping for that finish line to come. And I think she may have just started to lean early. Look at what happens to the runners on the inside of her. Just barely misses Brittany Brown of Iowa. But still not to be overshadowed. The 22.02 with a 1.18 win for Kyra Jefferson. She is all the way back and then some. One of the best times ever run amongst collegians and the number one time 
in the amongst the collegiate ranks at 2202, number four in the world, and she is downstairs with Jill. And she just looked at me and said, oh my God, Jill, I haven't PR'd since my junior year. You got out, but you saw and felt Deja right next to you. What went through your mind when she went down? I, I didn't know what happened. I was just focusing on the finish line. I saw her in my peripherals, and I was just trying to make sure I just kept digging and just trusted myself and trusted God to get me through this race. It has been a long road for you, coming back after SEC Outdoors and now this. How does NCAA champion sound to you? It sounds amazing. <laughs> I, I always wanted to win outdoor, and all year I've been upset that I haven't went faster than 24, and it's just a blessing. Like, this was God. This was not me today. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, that is a very interesting turn of events. Deja Stevens is a did not finish, which means she does get she gets no points. She could have gotten up. She walked off the track. It doesn't appear though she's hurt, but she needed to walk across the finish line to get the one point. But Kyra Jefferson, 22:02, phenomenal performance for the Florida senior.